Good morning. It is Thursday the 8th of December. And you all know what that means. It's time for another one of my advent videos. And today I'm going to be making some mini Christmas bunting. So for this project I've got a metre of a standard straight tape in an inch. I've got half of a fat quarter and I have ten little jingly bells because I'm hoping to get ten triangles out. So I'm going to cut ten double sided. So effectively I'm cutting twenty triangles out so um, I can make this bunting. But this machine I'm going to be working on is absolutely gorgeous. Let me just tell you a little bit about it. So this is the Brother Invis 1300. It's three down in their range from the top of the range. Comes with thre thread cut, you've got a knee lift, you've got their soft touch um, selection panel. It's got a beautiful accessory storage. If I just drop that forward, you can see all your presser feet are lined out nice and neat for you. Now that feature does come with the F400, uh, sorry, F420 even. <laughs> The 1100, the 1300, which is what we're working on, and the VQ2, and the 1800Q, I think, yes. Um, but I said those the wrong way around. The 1800 comes be between this one and the VQ2 that I made the buttonholes on yesterday. No, day before yesterday. Oh dear, these videos are making my brain blur into mush. Anyway, let's get started. So I've used a simple cardboard triangle shape to make my bunting and I have cut out all my little triangles. So I'm going to start by making sure the edges line up neatly, pop it under the presser foot, let's move it over so you can see and I'm going to just go straight down to the point Lift up and we'll go a little bit further down. There we go, and come back up the other side. And I'm using the side of my presser foot as a guide. Stop and chop. And that's my first triangle done. So let's carry on and crack on down the pile. So now I have 10 stitched triangles, I'm just going to take each one and trim off the ends of the points, so it just makes it easier to turn them through. So I'm just getting rid of the bulky bits of fabric at the ends of my points. Just like that. So I've swapped my sewing machine for a piece of cloth and the iron. I'm going to turn the triangles through and then just press them with an iron. Just to make them nice and flat. So that's triangle one done. I'll turn the next one through. I'm just going to poke the point out gently. Flatten it out. And press it. So it's 
number two. I'm just going to do that to the whole pile. So there we go, I've got ten turn through triangles, all pressed and ironed and lovely. I've trimmed all the threads off the top corners, and I'm now going to get my tape and sew them to it. So I'm going to come, come in a couple of inches from the end. I'm just going to line the triangle up on there and fold it over. Pop it into the machine. Just slow that speed down a little bit. Maybe not that slow. <laughs> trying to sort of use my eye to gently space these apart so I'm down to my last two triangles so I'm just going nice and steady pause the last one in my cute little meter of bunting so now I am going to sew on the little bells so I'm just going to take my needle and thread that I've pre-threaded I'm going to go into the bottom of my point pull all this whoops daisy Pull all the thread through carefully this time and I'm going to hook a bell onto my needle and then I'm just going to sew that bell on. Just to tie that off. And trim the thread. So I'm going to tie a knot back in the end of the thread and not stab myself with a needle like I just did. I'm only tying one single little knot just to stop it coming undone. And trim the tails off of that. Now you could leave the bells off altogether, you could do them one on every, but now I've seen it on there, I'm going to do them one every other. So thread goes in, bell goes on needle, and then we sew bell on to, oops Daisy dropped my needle then. 
on to bunting point. There we go, tied that off. Going to re thread, uh, re knot the end of the thread even, and sew the next. Into the bell goes onto the needle, and then we just sew it on. Just going to finish doing those bells, and that will be my bunting complete. I hope you like the idea, and I will see you again tomorrow for our next advent video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.